Right guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove this 160 pin IC from this board which is actually Pace Sky Digibox. Um, the power supply is blown on this board but we need this chip for another one. So I'm going to show you how to replace this. Right, okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to preheat the board, the underneath of the board to about 120-130 degrees C with this cheap Chinese reheating station. So we've got power on. Um, okay, just place the board on the preheater. There we go. I've labelled up the chip so we don't get this mixed up with a faulty one. And um, I'll just stop the camera while we preheat because it take a couple of minutes. Um, there's actually quite a few ways we could remove it. We could remove it here on the um, Ursa i5. Right, okay, so there's many different ways we can remove this chip. We can remove it with a PACE MBT 250D soldering station. Um, I've got an absolute load of bits. Um, if we select that one, we could put that into here and that goes over the chip and we can lift it all off but it's very time consuming you've got to set the station up you've got to set the temperature the offsets you've got to read the instruction to do all the different bits very complicated very slow so I'll show you another method right another way of removing the chip is the Ursa IR500A infrared soldering station with automatic chip lift got everything you want everything's got to be set up on it you've got to preheat the board you've got to set the different temperatures the top the bottom all very complicated we're going to do it with a cheap Chinese heater and a black and decker paint stripper right guys so the board is now on the preheating station we're coming up with temperature um, I could use many different pieces of kit to remove the chip but we're going to use this a black and decker paint stripper which cost a hundred times less than the soldering station behind it right okay so the board is now sitting at approximately 120 degrees C on the preheater I'll just get the black and decker and here we go There you go, that's the chip off. What, 10, 15 seconds and we're off. Right, so that's a picture of the board now. There's the chip removed. If you take a good look, there's no damage whatsoever to the tracks. The chip's off in one piece. And all ready to be re-transplanted into another box. Right guys, so here we go, camera's rolling, the board with a faulty chip here is sitting on the preheater. I'm just going to get the Black & Decker hot air paint stripper, we'll just take off the faulty chip. There we go, that's the faulty one off. I'll turn the preheater off now. We just need to move the old one onto there. And I'm going to clean up these PCB tracks with a bit of flux and a bit of desoldering bray ready to put the new one on. Right, here we go. Quick run down there. on that side down that side and 
down there and that's all ready now for the new chip to go on so first thing we do is flux up the tracks you can see the flux is bubbling because this board's still hot still sitting at something like 100 degrees Make sure we get it the right way around. Pins over there. Pin one. Just drop that on. And need to get it lined up. which can take longer to line it up than it actually does to take it off and put it back on again right there we go we're all in perfect alignment right for this operation we're going to need the pace wave soldering bit which is somewhere amongst all this lot that's the one that is the tip that we're going to be using to put the um, the replacement IC back on. So I'll just set the camera up where we've got a better view. Right, here we go, camera's rolling. The first thing we need to do now is tack at least four corners of the IC very, very carefully because we're going to wave solder this and we don't want it moving. Right, so let's try there. That's one corner. That's two corners. That's the third. and that's the fourth corner so the chip now not soldered to the board it's just tacked in four corners it won't move right so here we go flux all down the side of the pins like that the board's slightly warm so we don't need any more preheating And here we go. soldered in, more flux and what I'm going to do now oh, there's the old one, is just tip the board on its side 
just tip the board on its side now so we can see the solder falling away from the pins. That's it. All we're doing now is taking off the excess solder, removing the shorts from between the pins. One side done. Tip it that way. Two sides done. three sides done and the last one which is the hardest because this inductor's in the way which you very have to carefully solder around it and that's it chip in simple as that all we do now, clean it up, inspect it with a microscope and then we'll plug it and see what happens. Right, okay, so there we have it, that's the new chip in place. All we need now is some tin of flux remover. toothbrush of course to rub it get all the flux off so it's nice and clean a bit more flux remover right, I'm just going to stand the board up here a minute Okay, so here we go. Let's just give that a good. That's all the flux running off. And uh, right, we're ready to go. We just need a hair dryer. Dry the board off. Turn off the soldering iron. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hair dryer. and see what happens. Scarp plug in, put the camera down so I can use two hands. LMB power. rather a mess on the bench I'll have to clean that up after and that is the 200 pin IC removed from one skybox and transplanted into another in just a few minutes you can see that's the one that right box is plugged in got all the connections let's turn it on see what happens 
go, blue screen, and of course it's flickering, so we'll have to get another tally. Right, try this one. So you can see, oh there we go, you can see it better now, coming on. You can connect them wirelessly with our on-demand connector. Press and hold the WPS button on your router. There we go, seconds. and let's try then, Sky News, minute, channel press the WPS 5, button on your on -demand oh, connector, and both will connect one. Automatically. same rules for India and the United States of America as we have for Germany or France. And there you we go. can't do that at the moment. We have to take that a very is large how we change the 200 the pin IC and we do need with some a black and decker paint stripper. The overall numbers, especially for those wanting the lower paid or starter jobs, because we owe it to our young people in particular that more of those starter jobs go to them and, and we owe it to them that wages should not be depressed. I noticed that Lord Rose on the Remain side has said...